Hello chicos, good morning, good morning, good morning Sean todos bienvenidos a este nuevo video de nuestra clase de inglés Siempre es de mucho gusto encontrarnos por aquí compartiendo nuestra clase So, en este inicio del cuarto bimestre presentamos nuestro nuevo tema Así que por favor les pido mucha atención al siguiente video Enfocarse en lo que es la pronunciación y también en las aplicaciones que vamos a mostrar So, let's start Okay guys, today's new topic, future tense will Hoy día chicos vamos a hablar del will Como tenemos en mente, en el inglés tenemos dos tipos de expresiones para hablar del futuro El otro es el going to y el otro es el will, lo cual vamos a tocar hoy día ¿Cuáles son las diferencias? El will se usa para hacer predicciones instantáneas, casi que no son seguras Se predice instantáneamente, repentinamente y el going to a cambio tiene una predicción bastante segura. So, let's start the function. Future time, tiempo futuro. Se usa para hablar del futuro. Affirmative form. Okay, vamos a empezar con la parte afirmativa. Como siempre conocemos, tenemos en las tres estructuras. Afirmativa, negativa e interrogativa. So, let's start, please. Form. As usual, we have the form, subject, plus auxiliary will, plus the verb, plus the complement. So let's present examples. Examples. Here we have Ariana will travel to Paris next month. Ariana here we have Ariana will travel to Paris next month. Here. Okay. Here, according to my form, Ariana goes as subject, auxiliary will goes as will, plus verb goes travel, the complement to Paris next month. Next B. We will study at the University of Delhamid Baris. We will study at the University of Abdelhamid Baris. The same please here. We goes as subject, will auxiliary will. Study goes as verb at the university and the rest is complement. Okay, complement. Next we have Jorge and Pancho will go to the concert next year. Will go to the concert next year. Subject, auxiliary will, verb, plus the complement. Ok, all belong to affirmative form. Todo pertenece a la forma afirmativa. Ok, let's move on. Ok, here we have negative form. In the negative form we have the same. We have our form, subject, plus the auxiliary will, plus not. Chicos, acá si yo del will, tenemos el not, tengan en cuenta, plus not. Plus the verb plus complement. Ok. Chicos, acá lo negativo vamos a representar con un signo menos. Nomás, como pueden ver allí, con un signo menos negativo. Ok, so let's start, please. Example A. She will not pass the exam next week. She will not pass the exam next week. She will not pass the exam next week. She goes a subject. Will, auxiliary will, not is my negative, and the rest is mm, my complement. Sorry, here we have a little problem. Here is our, sorry, what can I say? Verb, 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 and verb, okay? So, all them are underlined, sorry, please. B, Julie will not eat pizza with friends. Julie will not eat pizza with friends. Julie will not eat pizza with friends. And the next is, they will not cook dinner today. They will not cook dinner today. Okay, so all them belong to negative form. Now let's move on. Chicos, nos movemos a lo siguiente. Continue. Interrogative form. Chicos, también tenemos en la parte interrogativa para hacer preguntas, claro, como siempre. Interrogative form, auxiliary will, chicos acá cambia de posición, Solo, como pueden ver cambió de posición, subject era primero, ahora está en el segundo, auxiliary will plus subject plus the verb plus complement plus the question mark, the question mark, okay. examples, will I travel to Argelia next month, will I travel to Argelia next month, auxiliary will, subject, verb plus complement. Okay, guys, a simple, please. A simple, simple, simple. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, now let's move on to the examples. Here, just finish. Here you are going to write your practices. Here you are going to write your practices. Number one. Vamos a resolver hasta la número cuatro, que lo resto se queda para ustedes, chicos. One. You will earn a lot of money. You will earn a lot of money. Number two. You will travel around the world. You will travel around the world. Number three. You will meet lots of interesting people. You will meet lots of interesting people. Number four. Everybody will adore you. Everybody will adore you. Number five. You will not have any problems. Or maybe you can say you won't have any problems. Six. Many people will serve you. Many people will serve you. Number seven. They will anticipate your wishes. Eight. There will there won't be anything left to wish for. There won't be anything left to wish for. Nine. Everything will be perfect. Everything will be perfect. Number 10, but all these things will happen only if you marry me. Oh my God. <laughs> if you will marry me. Okay, guys, those examples are related to future tense. Todos los ejemplos son basados al tiempo futuro. Okay, guys, that's it. Listo, chicos, nos vemos en nuestra conferencia. So, please, take care. And thank you so much. Goodbye.